What's up you guys, Scott here from Scott Help here with another simple tutorial. Now if you have been noticing, while I've been talking, my eyes have been changing color. And when I blink, they change another. Well how am I doing this? Let's jump right into Adobe After Effects to find out. Open your video by pressing Ctrl I and drag it into the new composition icon. Go to Window and select Tracker, then click Track Motion. Move the track point to the middle of your actor's eye and click the play button to analyze forward. I have done several tutorials on motion tracking, so if you are confused about any of this, watch these videos listed right here. Once it is done tracking, go to Layer, New, Null Object, and then select the original clip. In the tracker window, click Edit Target, select the Null, then click OK. Then click Apply and OK. Rename this Null to whichever eye you've just tracked. Then select the Null and press Ctrl D and rename this Null to the other eye. Go back to the original clip and click Track Motion for the second eye. Once it is done, click Edit Target, select the correct eye, and click OK. Then click Apply and OK. Now we'll create a solid for each eye. Press Ctrl Y to add new solid and make sure that it's a color. Select the solid and press T to lower down the opacity so that the actor will be visible. Hold the square mask to find the ellipse tool. Draw a tiny circle around the shape of your actor's eye and make sure to feather it to around 9. Bring up the opacity to around 75%. Then press Ctrl D to duplicate the solid and press P to change the position so that it's placed on the other eye. Now parent the left eye solid to the left eye null and the right eye solid to the right null. Next, go to the effects and presets and add a hue and saturation effect to the solid. Make sure to keyframe the channel range. Move to different points in your video and change the master hue. This will give the effect of the subject's eye slowly but surely changing color. To give the effect of an instant eye color change, move only one frame forward and then change the master hue in a completely opposite direction. Next, we'll duplicate this effect by selecting it and pressing Ctrl C. Then go into the other solid and pressing Ctrl V. On this solid, select effects and open up hue and saturation. Do the same process for the solid with the effects. When you open Hue and Saturation, copy the keyframes by selecting them and pressing Ctrl C. Scroll back down to the solid without the effects, click on the layer and press Ctrl V. Playing the clip, both eyes should be tracked and changing the same color at the same time. This is because both solids carry the same color information, just parented to different nodes. Leave any questions in the comment section below, and if this video was helpful, like and subscribe. Also, we are having another skit coming out pretty soon. Here's a quick preview of it. Natural. What is natural? For centuries, we've debated the act- And that's it. So, I'll see you guys later.